Once we get to the surgical treatment, we have several options. One option is a minimally invasive or less invasive option is a percutaneous procedures. And you can read by yourself the different uh, type of procedure that we have it is a glycerol injection, balloon compression, and thermocoagulation. This means that uh, with the needle, you go through the face and you can look here on the picture that I have on the right side. You can see the needle goes, uh, if you look at the bottom picture, you can see the branches of the trigeminal nerve. And you can see that there is a needle going through the V3 on the right side. So that needle is go through the face. Inside the uh, facial, uh, basically, structure, but without entering the mouth, behind the pterygoid plate, goes up at the base of the skull, goes through the foramen ovale, and the needle is being parked on the region of the ganglion or V3. And once you got that needle in the right position, that has to be confirmed, whether it's with the navigation during the surgery or with the fluoroscopy to make sure that you are in the right spot. Plus, you once you put the needle in and you take the stylet out, you need to get spinal fluid back to confirm that you are in a cistern. If you don't get a CSF back, first of all, you can't inject anything, and then you might be in the wrong location. Then you have three options. Whether you can inject glycerol is a medication, then numb the nerve, or you can use a balloon and dilate the balloon, and the balloon will numb the nerve also by sort of compressing it and almost like a making it uh, numb by just a compressive effect or thermocoagulation you can put under heat and burn the nerve these are good options all of them i personally do the glycerol injection if uh, i actually doing one um, uh, the day after tomorrow the um, advantage is that it's a shorter procedure is probably take about 30 minutes altogether, 45 minutes the patient goes home the same day there is no incision patient under normal uh, sort of sedated, but awake, they are not intubated. The problem is the effect is most likely temporary because these patients do not uh, have uh, a permanent uh, solution for the cause of the pain. So you basically go to a dentist, you get a numbing medicine, your teeth is numb, you don't hear, you don't feel anything for a few hours after the procedure, you come back home, you start feeling your teeth and then you start feeling the pain of a procedure that you have had done. So that's the same. Although obviously for this is longer, it's not just a few hours, but might be as, uh, as short as two weeks. For some lucky patient could be as long as two years or so. So that's an option. I leave that option for all the patients who cannot undergo uh, general anesthesia or the patients who are really against having a surgical procedure done, more invasive than this. Then you get to the surgery that is the best option for trigeminal neuralgia which is a microvascular decompression. And this means that we do a surgery by going and finding the culprit for compression at the origin of the nerve, separate the vessel from the nerve by putting some pads there, and that will fix the problem immediately. The patient wake up, has no pain anymore. It's unbelievable. And I, I, I really love this procedure because it's so gratifying when you can help the patient so quickly. These are the principles of surgery. This is, uh, I'm not going to go through this uh, because uh, obviously this uh, is uh, not helpful at this stage of your training. But what I want you to know is that we try to do these surgeries as minimal invasive as possible. We do a very small opening, mini craniotomy, the size of basically thumb, very small, like a two by three centimeters. Surgery is all without any retractor, so the brain is not touched. And we get to the location of the nerve and the vessel and we separate that. And you're going to Ryan Rad here from neurosurgerytraining.org. If you like that video, subscribe and donate to keep our content available for medical students across the world.